Big tech companies are taking a hit in the stock market following news that the U.S. Justice Department is moving forward with an antitrust investigation. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more on this. So, Tyler, how big of an impact is this already having? Well, I would say that these big tech companies are, are finally getting a little concerned about their position in the marketplace at this point. This investigation, as we know it so far, it's light on the details, but it's easy to discern what the Trump administration is concerned about based on previous comments. Now, for Facebook and Google, they've pretty much sealed a duopoly over online ads. And the problem is that a lot of the content creators that they're benefiting from, they aren't really being compensated the way that we think of traditionally. And Amazon's dominance in online sales, it's massive. It takes up about 50% of all online sales. Apple, it's a bit of a different story though. Its market dominance isn't once what it once was, but for its own users though, it's actually quite dominant in the types of services that it offers. Just look at say the App Store. So these tech companies, I would say that they actually have some concerns that they should be aware of at this point. It's going to be interesting to see how this unfolds in the coming. And these investigations, it's not about a few months. It could be years in the works moving forward. Got it. All right. And uh, a bit of a lighter story here today, but certainly timely uh, during the morning hours. And this is for coffee lovers. Starbucks rolling out a new delivery service. But I have to wonder, how are they going to keep that coffee hot? Oh, yeah, very good question. A lighter story, maybe a lighter coffee for those that are interested because these menus that they're going to be offering, they're fully customizable according to Starbucks. And they're rolling this program out nationally in the United States. They just announced that. The question for all of us Canadians is, are we going to get shafted to a certain degree? I would say those in Vancouver, Toronto, Calgary, we're going to be totally fine moving forward. Starbucks has officially announced that we'll be getting these delivery services. It's not going to be on a national level across all of Canada at this point, but the majority of the menu is going to be available and Canada is joining other markets like the UK, Japan and China. And it makes sense. Online food sales for deliveries that are worth about $95 billion globally and are expected to rise 11% annually for the next four years. Huge market opportunity for Starbucks in Canada is a, it's not a huge part of the equation, but I know it's a huge part of the equation for a lot of people's mornings when they're getting started. So maybe this makes it a little bit easier. All right. We will wait for that, Tyler. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sonia.